morning. So now I have my respirator on and again, I have my nitrile glove. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start um, stirring my epoxy. And so you want to put, well, you want to go by whatever your, um, the maker of your epoxy recommends. Most epoxies are equal parts A and B. Um, but you would do whatever your um, maker's recommendations are. So um, I'm just stirring this up real quick. It generally takes about two minutes before um, before it um, is is uh, completely mixed. So I'm mixing it right now. I'm going to mix it, and once I'm done, then I'll come back and and, and we'll go to the next step. So I finished. Um, mixing my epoxy and i'm not sure if you can see that but it's pretty much clear there are just a couple more um, bubbles in there but um for this method of applying your glitter it does not really matter because this is just for adhesion for the glitter onto the um onto whatever it is that you're applying glitter onto and so um it, do, it really doesn't matter on this layer if there's any um, imperfections in the epoxy layer um, so I'm going to go ahead and, um, begin to start the, um, epoxy on, onto my, uh, flask and applying the glitters. Okay. So now I've prepared my area. So my area consists of a paper plate. I usually get these, um, from the dollar store because they're very cheap. Um, I like to get the plates that have no wax on them or anything like that. Um, this is used to catch my glitters. Um, and it will release the glitters whenever I try to put them back in it in their containers um, So this is what I'm going to use to catch the glitters This outer sheet is just a piece of construction paper and I usually just leave it in place um, to, to catch any fallout that doesn't get in the plate. I like to save as much of my glitter as possible um, So the four glitter glitters I'm going to be using today are from uh, PDB um, I will put in the description in the bottom uh, or I'll put the link down in the bottom of the description box. I'm going to be using four colors. This one here is called uh, called Disco. And then we have Showgirl. We have the infamous Coachella, which is like a really popular color with their... Um, with their company, Coachella. I hope that's picking up. And then um, I guess it's Sirius, which is a nice purple color. And so what I've done, I know that these are kind of weird, but these are these are like color templates of the glitters. And what I do is I take a mold and I insert glitters into those molds, put mix it with epoxy to give me this. This way I can have a visual of what I have as far as glitters. I put them on a board so I can visualize all the glitters that I have and it'll make it easy for me when I'm trying to match or combine glitters and things like that. I don't have to go through each individual bottle of glitter and I do have a lot of glitters. Um, and so I cannot take credit for that idea. I did get it from one of the groups. I do believe it was the group for the PDB um, glitters. Um, but, uh, but yeah, if you do want to see how I do it specifically, um, you know, I can do a tutorial on that as well, but yes. Um, and then what I do is whenever, uh, I do give them all onto this little, um, into this little form, I uh, put them on a, on a metal board, um, so that I can visualize all the glitters I have without having to, um, have all my glitters in place. I know which ones I, I need to pull. And so, um, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and start epoxying these and applying the glitter. Um, I am doing two Hydra Dips and I'm doing two um, Peekaboos. And so um, right now this video here will just cover the glitter application. And guys, with this method, you only use a bare minimum on your finger to spread onto the um, your tumbler, or in this case, the flask. You want it to be super duper thin because the only reason for this is to 
um, to apply your uh, glitter, to adhere to the glitter. Um, so I did, like I said, I did, uh, 25, um, ml total for the epoxy. However, that much is not needed. The only reason I did, um, make up this much is because I do have a cup as well, um, that I would like to put another layer on. So, um, so typically for that, you don't need any more than 10 cc's. Uh, for four of those um, cups because you're just literally taking your finger and dipping a little bit getting it on your finger and spreading it as thin as you can spreading it spreading spread it um, and then putting your uh, glitter on there and so let me show you what I use so um, if you ever uh, I'm sure if you are in the tumbler world you are familiar with this but it is one of those self-made um, hangers, pretty much for the hang for the um, hang method. Um, and it's just made with some PVC pipe and everything. And so once I did all of the glitter, and I just I just put them onto this little device here. I have those little metal pieces on there because sometimes I need to I connect a a female um, shredded um, in onto these. So I use that kind of when I need that. But yes, um, I'm hoping I'm getting it. Oh, uh, let me see. Um, but yeah, that's what it looks like. And that's what I put it on while it's hanging. And I just I just inserted the, the handle into there. Okay, so the last thing that you want to do is just make sure that you go back and you remove your um, your uh, um, electrical tape that you placed on there because you do not want it to cure with the epoxy on there in case any epoxy got on there. Um, so I'm going to do that, but I just wanted to show you guys how I, you know, um, prep these for the turner. Um, and so, uh, the next video will be, um, me putting them on the turner and covering them with another layer of epoxy. Thank you so much for watching and taking the time to come by my channel. Um, I'll see you guys next time.